Hey, it's Jeff at 650 Cycle. I am finally at a point where I can do a little bit of work on this GS850. Um, I've put a battery in it, I've turned the key, and I have dash lights, which is a good sign. Um, what I want to try to do today is to fire it. Well, I want to hit the starter and see what happens. So let's, let's do that right away. I got nothing on the switch. So we have an issue there. Could be a fuse, could be something more than that. Um, that's a little disappointing because I was really hoping to uh, maybe turn this thing over. So um, we're going to do some troubleshooting from there and see what happens. Um, this is a, my 850 Revival. Got dash lights, so that's a good sign. Oh, this switch is a mess. All right, well. We'll mess with it. We'll get the uh, camera back on once I get a little further. All right, so uh, I'm gonna jump the solenoid, bypassing the starter switch. So the switch is bad. Um, something with that switch, that control up there looks really bad. It's in pretty poor shape. The kill switch is not working. So I'll take that apart and see what I can do with that. In the meantime, I really want to see if this thing will fire on its own. So I'm going to get some little go juice here. What do I do with it? Got a little bit left. We'll do a little squirty squirt. Uh, see what happens. not on to fire. How do these come apart? How does this air box come off? That's what I thought. Oh, nice. How are you supposed to get to those? Choke all the way on. Oh, that froze up. Yeah, my throttle was froze up. So definitely gonna need to work on the carb that thr throttles froze up. Not getting any fire from it. Not surprising. Um, We'll do it one more shot. See what happens. Woo! We got a backfire. Gotta keep going now. Maybe I should be pouring raw fuel down there, gas instead of that. my camera fell so what I came up with so far um, I got a backfire out of it so that's good well I don't have a I don't have half my plug wires on maybe that would help maybe that's where the backfire came from maybe they're just crappy plugs um, the starter switch definitely needs repair the carbs are not opening with the throttle uh, the cables trying to move so I'm pretty sure that it's not the throttle it's it's moving down here that you can see the cable and I'm pulling the throttle kind of trying ain't nothing happening because those carbs are froze up um, you looking down in there it's not a big surprise and I kind of knew that was gonna happen and I was gonna be in this position but what I found out so far today with just this little test in this little short time I got a backfire and um, I got a bad switch so 
uh, I think I'm going to move with that. I'm going to end up taking these carbs off. I'm going to try to source a switch. See what happens. Oh, we got we got an horn. The horn works. <laughs> so it's fun because I've spent a lot of time recently tearing bikes down, and um, as fun as that is, you don't ever get to put them back together. You don't ever get to see them running again, and that's the fun part of this doing a, doing this doing a revival. The fun part is. Uh, putting it back together getting it running again and i think this one's going to be fairly easy i think it's a carb mess at this point so um, i'm going to move forward with that pull the carbs get them cleaned out put them back on see what happens all right revival attempt number two i have a 76 gl 1000 and i kicked it over these actually have a kickstart which is kind of cool give it a kick i know the motor's free I hooked the battery up, I have dash lights, and I'm going to um, hit the button. I got nothing on the button, so I got another one with a bad switch. So I'm going to try to set this camera and jump the solenoid on this one and see what happens. Um, let's get this camera. Again. All right. Let's see, revival number two, if I can make progress on this today. <sighs> Rolling over, I'm not seeing any spark. The, the uh, points cover is off. Not really seeing any spark there. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. I don't have a choke cable. I don't have a choke cable. Where's the choke on these? Be the choke cable hanging out the front. It's going to be disconnected. Does this work? Okay. Let's try that. It's rolling over pretty good. I'm not seeing spark down here on the on the uh, points, which is concerning. That could be why it's not firing. Let's try that again. I'm really going to watch the points this time. I think my battery's about dead and my, my poor screwdriver's getting pretty hot. Um, I'm not seeing any spark coming in on the points. I've got another set of points that I may end up putting in here. Right now my my battery I think is about done. Um, that or uh, just got warmed up. Um, it could be the points. It could be something just disconnected somewhere. So before I change the point system out, I'm going to look through everything and make sure all my wires are hooked up, uh, checking all that before we go too crazy with it. The good news is, is that, it, that the starter is decent on it, it turns it over, so I know that part's going to work. It's just going to be uh, making sure that all the other wires are hooked up, and because i got wires over here that aren't hooked up, I'm not sure what they're for. Let's plug them in. Maybe I should have done that beforehand. Yeah, they're, they're going to take a little bit of work. I don't really want to do that right now. So uh, I'll go through all the wiring harness, make sure that's all hooked up. Uh, it might just be a wire off. Um, whew, well, that was fun. Uh, the really cool thing is, is that it fires over. Um, well, it turns over, um, which I, I knew the motor was free, but now I know the starter works. Uh, need to there's a see right here. There's a cable hanging. I'm guessing that is the choke cable because my throttle Goes and mostly comes back. So I'm pretty sure that's working, right? Um, just knowing that that much of it works is encouraging Now I can spend some time going through it and not feeling bad about going through it because you don't want to spend time on going through something and then find out that motor seized or something like that so uh, the Suzuki needs a switch needs the carbs cleaned and that's a, a good place to start it also needs the brakes done but we'll get there this I need to go through and make sure all the wires are hooked up where they're supposed to be because I'm not getting spark on the points 
and the choke cable's not hooked up, so that would probably help. I'm going to try not to pull the carbs on these because I don't want to pull the carbs on these. I've pulled them off, but I've never put them back on, and they look like they're a pain in the butt to get off. So that's where we are with these two revival projects. Uh, kind of working together a little bit on them. I think I'm going to focus more attention on this one right now. Um, and we will go from there. So I got a little... This frame is incredibly dirty. And I didn't check to see if I was getting spark here. But I know the carbs are, are dirty. They're froze up. They're not moving. So I definitely know that needs to be cleaned out. So that's a good place to start. And he's done anyways. Uh, we will start there. And when I work on it some more, I will get the camera rolling. 